Okay, so welcome to this brand new video. Today I want to show you how to make a Caden Live fade-in effect to a different video. I previously made a tutorial like this, except somebody commented saying that they didn't want it to fade into black, they wanted it to fade into a different video. So, this is for them. I already answered in the comment, but here we go, what the hell. Let's add our first clip on the top timeline. As you can see, it's a video clip, timeline 2. And we're going to add the second one just behind it here. And these clips, as you can see, this window shows you the selected clip, and this one shows you what's in the timeline. And so, as you can see, uh, the videos are playing fine. It's just it just sharp cuts it to the second video. We don't want this. We want a transition. We want a fade in effect. So, in the, in my previous video, I showed you that by moving the slider, you can adjust the fade of your effect. This is a fade in effect because it's green. This is a fade out effect because it's at the end of the video and because it's red. And as you can see, this is was the result of my previous tutorial. It just goes to black. Now this can be useful if you wanted to add your um, text at the end of a like short film or movie, except it, it wasn't useful in other cases. So I'm going to show you how to fade into a different video. Now to do that, you just need to explain something first. The reason it's fading into black is because, as you can see, we're on timeline 2. But it would work exactly the same on timeline 1. Now the reason that is, is because there's nothing underneath it. So it's fading out, it's lowering the uh, transparency to 0, and then opening the transparency up to 1 again as it gets here. And while it goes to 0, it's, the transparency is completely, well, it's, the video is completely transparent. And there's nothing underneath that, that uh, would nothing see through underneath it. So the transparency disappears, but there's nothing underneath that. So it goes black because there's nothing. The value is of zero. So we're going to add a third clip, which it doesn't matter what it is, what in my case, because this is a tutorial, but you probably have your own clips. If not, I don't understand the point. And now when we play it with the video underneath it, it has to be underneath. It fades in. Now we can adjust the fade to have a better effect. And as you can see, it fades. Ooh, wrong way fades to black because the clip isn't there yet and then it fades into the clip and then fades back into the previous clip into the next clip and so there we go that's what we're doing uh, it sets the transparency gradually from 1 to 0 down here and from this point it will be black because there's nothing under that transparency and we can set the transparency here So as you can see, the fade in of the effect can be applied on the bottom there as well to give it a gradually fade in instead of just a sharp sort of uh, appearance. See, it just like pops up, which isn't great. It can work in certain situations, but usually it's best to have some great uh, graduation on both clips. So this is it for me, a super, super simple thing for more advanced users. But for beginners, you have to know it to know it. So there we go. I uh, hope you liked this video. Um, well, I'm going to do some much more complex and complicated ones. This was literally just an answer to a comment that I got. And so please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.